I found tournament legal Beyblades on AliExpress. But first, an introduction. The Metal Series line of Beyblade is the series I was most invested in competitively during its heyday. I actually had a pretty successful run in the World Beyblade organization between 2010 and 2011. Though eventually I would fall out of it due to getting into high school and also Hasbro gimping the Metal Fury line of Beyblades. This year I turned 26, and 26 is a big number which had me reflect on my past. And reflecting on my past also led to nostalgia. One of the things I was nostalgic about was Beyblade. Unfortunately, buying old Beyblades is expensive, or so I thought. On AliExpress you can find Takara Tomy branded Beyblades for a reasonable price, so I bought a bunch of them. I was a bit iffy on them since it was AliExpress, but they were actually branded Takara Tomy. Some of them were even the South Korean Sonokong Beyblades. However, after doing some more research, I found out these are what are called mid-fake Beyblades. They're almost a one-to-one -one copy of the original, but have some dubious background. Illinook, Damayo GT, and Beyblade Dad made videos covering these, which you should definitely watch if you have not already. Due to these being so close to the original, they are actually, at the time of making this video, tournament legal in the World Beyblade Organization. So while these may not be something for collectors, for people that just want to battle with them, these should be fine. I didn't really buy any I already had, just what I missed out on as a kid, so I can't really compare. The boxes are a bit muted though, but just feeling the actual Beyblades, they at least feel legit. So let's test some out. Alright, we're gonna have a battle with the OG Pisces Beyblade again, Storm Aries again. Uh, I feel like these would be a solid uh, matchup, though this being a pre-hybrid wheel, it's uh, it's gonna have it's an uphill battle, but still, it'd be nice to see how it plays. Three, two, one, let's go. Hybrid series Beyblade. What do you have to say, John Blader Jr., about the valiant efforts of Pisces? It looks like Pisces is going to lose that, but yeah, he won. These pre hybrid Beyblades are a bit difficult to measure due to me not having the ones that were released back in 2008 to compare. However, they do work fine enough. This Beyblade, I forgot the name of it. But it's facing against an original Hasbro Earth Eagle. There you go. Yeah, that one over here. So this is the uh, mid fake one. This is the uh, official Hasbro one. So we're going to see how it performs against it. I'm assuming that this one is going to win because uh, it has the best uh, metal wheel with it. Alright. Ready, John Bay Jr.? 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Yeah. 
the mid fake one wins the match. No, I expected this one to win though because this one is a better Beyblade overall. So it's good to see that you can actually beat the original. All right, so you have to say about this Beyblade, Yeah. Oops. Oh, you know? yeah. I'd argue, out of all the styles of Beyblades, the hybrid ones are the best. From testing these against the Beyblades I had from 2010, they are pretty much even, which is great for people interested in the Metal Fight Limited format, since these are the Beyblades that see a lot of play in those. Alright, we got Scythe Kronos. Now this is considered one of the best stamina Beyblades in the 4D system. And we're going to have it face against a custom Bob Beyblade. What so, pieces are they part of this? Um, I think this is uh, this is a beefy boy. Then we have the face, the metal face, and we have the bull. Then the T125WD. So it really is a stamina base, a, a defensive hitter. But this one is more of a stamina base. So let's see which one wins. Ready, three, two, one, let it rip. Not again! No! <laughs> what happened? Why did you do that? I think it does that. Oh, it's because of the spin trap. If it goes in a certain angle, it'll uh, go super fast. But unfortunately, that's not what we want from Cyclonus against Bob. If I'm gonna have it the first time. I don't know, he's still like it. Two times? Yeah. Unfortunately, Scythe Kronos, even though it is a Beyblade capable of beating our Bob, it cannot, it, it's, it's spin track, it was not ready to face the consequences of the battle. The 4D Beyblades are also really good, just like the hybrid ones. I haven't noticed any issues with them, but with there being multiple metal parts, it can be more likely for these to have some wonky issues. We got Dragoon with three O's versus Medio L Drago from Hasbro. What's going Medio? It was a Meteor, so I don't know. Ready, Spaghetti. It was the Venom of Beyblade, right? Yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. Touch and go. Stuck in the middle. Looks like you're circling around. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. So these are pretty close Beyblades. Pretty close right there. The Zero G Beyblades perform fine. However, for some reason, they aren't able to beat my best Hasbro Beyblades. Which is weird because Zero G is supposed to be the best out of all the Beyblades. I was thinking it might have been a weight thing, but when I did weigh them, the parts were the exact same as documented by the Beyblade wiki for the original released ones. I may have to play around with different combinations, but at the same time, this might also be the result of their dubious production background. Overall, these Beyblades from AliExpress are solid. And for the price, I would say I do not feel like I wasted my money on them since they are tournament legal. That being said, due to their dubious background, I would not let kids play with them, nor would I eat them. They may also be a moral dilemma since the original creators are probably not making any money off of these. Which makes me wish Takara Tomy would reprint some of the older stuff, just like how Bandai reprints their old Gundam model kits. In the coming weeks, I will be releasing the full unboxing and testing videos of these Beyblades, so stay tuned. If you like this video, hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.